to All That Talks, Finding Love with Charm. This is Callie. I'm Olivia. And tonight we are super excited for this group date. So we've got the Fashion with Charm. This was an idea that was inspired by her because of her great sense of fashion. And so Olivia is going to go a little bit more into the details <laughs> of that. Yeah, we have a very exciting and fun group date plan for tonight. Of course, you know, Charm also wanted um, to know a little bit more about the gentleman's like fashion sense as well. And so what better way to do that than to host like a virtual fashion show for Charm so she can kind of get to see the guy and what they would wear. Um, and so we came up with uh, three different events that the guys, you know, could potentially be going to or, um, you know, potentially virtually be going to. Um, and so the the different events are a friend's birthday party. We've got a Met Gala and a beach party. And so, of course, you know, in reality, if they were to ever end up with charm, um, she does kind of want to know what they would wear and what they would look like in it. And so we just thought it would be something really fun for her. Um, and so, of course, at the end of this, charm will pick a winner. And that person will get to spend a little bit of extra time with her today. All right. I am going to bring Charm on right now. Hey. Hello. How are you guys? Good. Good. How are you? Good. You look good, beautiful. Good. 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 So this yeah. group date was one that um you had wanted to do and we all know that you have a great fashion sense and so what's what inspire you to kind of think like i want to see the men and what they wear and what are you most excited for um i think just because i mean i do love a man who has like some sense of fashion too and if i do start dating a man and he doesn't really have a sense of fashion i kind of just try to give him like tips right um i think um his sense of style definitely um just shows who he is too in a way and I just want to see what kind of style they bring and who's willing to, how far they're willing to go in this fashion show, how creative they're willing to go. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, I definitely agree that fashion is, is definitely important and not that they have to be, you know, wearing um, crazy expensive things or whatever, but looking put together depending on the type of like situation and events they're going to be in. Right. I think that's a lot of like social intelligence. That's very important. So mm -hmm. Yeah, we're excited for you. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, Sean. Hey. How are you guys? Good. How about yourself? Good. Yourself? Good. Are you guys ready for tonight's fashion show? <laughs> we sure are. I think so. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, all right, I, I know it's gonna be out of your comfort zone a little bit, but let's just have fun with it and um, bring your, show me what you guys got with your style. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so Chang, I think you're up first. So um, it, it would be nice if you guys do a little bit, a little bit of a walk. Um, so yeah, just so I could see everything. Okay, walk first. So this is, I was saying it was a house party, right? So uh -huh. first uh, it was a house party. So just exp I'll explain first before I walk. Uh, I typically like to throw on a cap uh, or something that's very just relaxed. Inner shirt is something very simple, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit more form fitting, a bomber style jacket. Um, Got to add a little bit of jewelry, right? So watch is always a must for me. A little bit of bling on the other side. And then obviously jeans have to have a little bit of swag as well. Awesome. Um, and then I like bands. Oh, okay. I think is nice. So uh, I'll try to do a walk. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know if you're going to be able to see my whole outfit from bottom down. <laughs> I don't know. Can you see? I'll do this. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Just walk and strut your stuff a little. And I think that's, that's it. Good. All right. I like it. Wow. Yay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was really, good, Chang. That was good. That was really good. I, I really like your style. All right, Travis, you're up. All right. So if I'm going to a house party, I like to keep it pretty simple. Um, I like graphic shirts. So um, when I find like um, 
interesting ones uh, from, you know, from, from anywhere I, I tried to get off. Um, I usually only wear shirts like this, you know, at things like this. So I don't get to wear them too much. Um, so today I have my Taylor Swift shirt from her. <laughs> From one of her albums from a few years back. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I really like just uh, something simple, something graphic that kind of expresses myself. Um, so yeah, it's usually just a t-shirt. Um, I usually go with a nice pair of dark jeans. Um, so you know, just uh, dark jeans, uh, really nice, comfy. Um, you know, feel good in them. And then for shoes, let me go grab my shoes. I saw the camera a little bit. <laughs> So my favorite pair of shoes uh, to go out with are, uh, you know, like white sneakers. Uh, I don't have them now because they all got dirty. Um, They usually do. So, uh, you know, I just have a pair of sneakers. Uh, These are Adidas's, um, something like this, just something real uh, simple, comfy, um, something that I feel good in. I like that. Comfortable shoes are always good. (laughs) Yeah, so I'll I'll do my walk. Uh, I guess if I'm walking to a party, I'll, uh, you know, meet somebody up there. So. (laughs) <laughs> and yeah, you know, if it's a lady friend, I'll just give them a hug and show up at the party. Yay! <laughs> awesome, awesome, like Travis. It. All right, Jesse, you're up. <sighs> okay, my turn. Uh, so I'm very simple. Uh, I like a lot of plain clothes. Uh, but today I have my the Heights shirts. Um, so going to a house party, I just want to be comfortable and just be able to socialize, right? Because I'm there to talk with friends, get to know people um, and basically network if there's the opportunity. So I have my Heights shirts. Uh, I usually wear plain t-shirts, but I have my Heights t-shirts on. It's because this is this can be a conversation starter. So when you go to you know socialize, it's, you, you know, it makes it easier for you to build conversations with people. They can be like, oh, you know, what is the Heights? So it's something that I was a part of, uh, you know, and it just, you can just build rapport with that. Uh, I like to wear uh, just simple jeans, nothing special. And I go barefooted. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have my shoes, but uh, I do like Vans as well. I've never worn these, so I'm just going to show you what kind of Vans I like. Oh. And I don't really wear white shoes because they get dirty really easy. So mm-hmm. I try to stay away from them, but I do like white shoes. And uh, yeah, something like, no, I'm just <laughs> so, so yeah, just something simple. Um, right. you know, it's, it's the summertime, so I don't have a jacket on or anything. Usually, you know, it depends on the weather, but I don't know. You want to see a, <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, so that's, right. that's awesome. me. Awesome. I like it, you guys. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, go ahead, Callie. Hello, hello. Oh, I see two big smiles. <laughs> you guys know how much we love surprises. Um, and since my birthday is getting close, Tarm, we wanted yeah. to give you a surprise. Um, and so we're gonna get off the screen, but we're gonna send you your surprise, okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys know the surprises? Is it from you guys? Nope. I have um, no idea. No, not for me. Hey, um, I'm uh, supposed to see a doctor. Is this the right group? <laughs> I'm just not with you guys. Do you have a doctor? <laughs> well, oh. I'm, I'm, hi, Charm. I'm Eric. Hi, Eric. Um, Are you a new contestant? Or are you here for, for sure. a guest meeting? Or a guest... No, I'm a new contestant. Uh, oh. You, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Eric. Um, are you going to be joining us in the fashion show tonight? Uh, for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, this is Chang, hey, Travis, and Jesse. How's it going? Uh, hey, nice to meet you guys. So, like, um, I know this is, like, a house party style. So, usually, you know, I just wear, uh, like, uh, plain T-shirts, you know, and just a nice dress pants or just jeans and, you know, shoe wise, I mean, I wear whatever shoes, but you know, Nikes is what I like. So. Okay. Awesome. What about you? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Magic, come on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think I, I like to wear like boots, heels sometimes, or just flats and 
some, just something comfortable, crop top jeans. Yeah. I, is that it then? I think we're moving on to the next one, right? The next one is gonna be Met Gala. Oh, my Kelly said one more surprise. Well, what surprises? What's that? I said four well, surprises today. I know. Woo. Hi, Yang. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Hey, am I supposed to have a seat or am I supposed to do a catwalk? <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, is this the house party? Yes. Okay. So when you walk in the house party, you gotta walk in with some swag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but this is me, just dressed up simple, house party, it's just a house party. You gotta just enjoy yourself, you gotta be relaxed, just feel comfortable under your own skin. So. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't ask you guys where you guys are from, Eric and Yang. So I'm from uh, Minnesota too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Yang, you're from? I'm from, I'm from, uh, <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, th this is definitely a surprise. Um, Thank you guys for joining this show, <laughs> this journey. Um, but yeah, um, congratulations or, um, on your walk too. That was great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little bit out of, um, I just kind of shocked. That's all, in a good way. All right, guys, are you guys ready for my gala? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, gala. so Chang, you can start off and then um, if you can, I don't know if we could do really do a catwalk because you don't have that much walking space right there, but um I would do my best. Okay. <laughs> so pretty basic as well now, right? Yeah, I got a suit, mm -hmm. um, tie, and obviously dressed up with the belt and can't go wrong with brown boots, one of my favorite types of boots to wear. Uh, Met gala or wedding or whatever that may be. But um, other than that, you know, just you got to have your, again, watch. Watch is important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll do my best to do your catwalk for you. <laughs> All right. You're not. Yeah. And then bonus, moonwalk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was good. That was good. All right, Jesse. I'm sorry, Travis. You ready for yours? I am. All right. So um, I know one of the themes of this year's Met Gala is home and American fashion. And one of the things that they um, want to focus is sort of our connection to home during the pandemic. And so I thought that, um, you know, in the spirit of the Met Gala of that theme, and as well as that uh, celebrities, they usually go pretty um, uh, expressive here. They're pretty experimental. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they wear pretty looking things. Um, I thought that with that theme, um, it would be the uh, remote worker meeting outfit. So that is, you know, you look really good up top. Uh, you know, you've got your shirt, your tie, uh, you're ready for your meeting. Everyone, you know, you look okay to them, but, you know, you're really wearing, like, sweatpants. Um, <laughs> you know, you're wearing sweatpants, wearing uh, pajama pants because no one sees your bottom, right? And so um, with that theme, I think, uh, you know, at the Met Gala, maybe a celebrity might uh, choose something crazy like that, something fun like that. And so um, – yeah. My shoes, uh, probably slippers, but um, I wear my Crocs, <laughs> and then I will do a walk. So, <laughs> so that's my outfit. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, Jesse. All right, love it, Travis. Uh, now I got to step it up. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm very simple. Uh, I used to always have ties, and uh, I used to always wear ties. Uh, but I learned this from an event that I went to to just leave it open. 
So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, usually just white underneath um, and then black. I usually go with black. I have different color suits as well. Uh, but yeah, no, he's buttoned up the first one. Sometimes I let it out, you know, once I get my abs, yes. Uh, but yeah, so I button it up, uh, yeah. And then I usually just wear uh, black shoes, but I don't have any right now <laughs> because I didn't think that anyone would be able to see. So uh, when I walk, I usually walk with my hands uh, to the side. I'm very calm and uh, yeah, that's just my composure. Um, and since Chang did a moonwalk, I'll do a spin. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, great job. All right, Eric, you get to go. Round two? Dang. Okay. Round two. If I walk, I can just like one button or no button. Double spin. <laughs> <laughs> Got a then, ton of one spin, huh? <laughs> yeah, and then, and then usually I just wear like you know, just you know, nice fitted clothes, obviously, and I just wear nice black uh, dress shoes. So just slip ons because I don't like tying shoes, you know. It's not yeah. easy. Thing, so. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. All right, I like that. All right, Ying, you're up. Oh, Ying, you're oh. on mute. <laughs> Oh no. All right, can you guys hear me? Oh, there we go. Yes. Yep. We gotta play some music in here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you can play music if you want. Turn the volume 10. Oh, hold on. I got pictures. Take a little turn to volume 10. Now listening to me now, but this is me. Um, I guess I can do my walk first. Nothing too too fancy. <laughs> I think I'm getting like a little bit too old to be wearing this kind of stuff, but um, I love wearing suits. But like I say, you can tell a lot about the man based upon the shoes he wears and the suit that he puts on. So uh, something that I've always been super excited about, something that I love to wear. I used to wear suits all the time. Um, and it's always the fine little details. Mm -hmm. um, so like this is a custom shirt. It has my uh, initials embroidered on it. All my shirts, suits, is all custom fitted. Simply because you got to feel comfortable when you go out, right? Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of how I feel about it. A lot of things that I do when I go out and do things. Awesome. I like it. And I really, that's one of my favorite colors, that light lavender. So. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you guys are impressing me. I really love it. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm really surprised. You guys are really stepping out of your comfort zone and dressing up, and I'm really. I like it. Um, okay, so are you guys ready for the last and final outfit? Yep. It is the beach yes, wear. So I am excited to see what you guys are going to wear or not wear. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh. All what? right, you guys ready? Okay, so Chang, go on ahead. All right, so beach wear. Mm -hmm. Got to have the uh, swim trunks, right? So when you're ready to jump in the water, uh, pretty basic top, just a white underneath shirt and a uh, Hawaiian style island uh, flannel button up just in case you needed to use it for anything on the beach. Usually once you're on the beach, it starts to come off, right? Oh. So this starts to come off. And then normally this comes off too, but I'm gonna reserve that for a special <laughs> lady. <laughs> but that's it. Pretty, pretty basic. All right. Good job. Okay. Travis. All right. So 
when I think beach, um, yeah, beach, hot weather, perfect. Um, so I love to just wear tank tops. Um, I work in the office all the time, so like I rarely get cold tops. So I mean, I just enjoy it. I uh, get a good tan on. Um, this wear tank. This is a tank I got in Bali. Um, but yeah, just any kind of tank. I couldn't find my favorite one today, unfortunately. Um, um, oh, I forgot. That thing? <laughs> I forgot the shades. Ooh, so there you I love uh, these like Ray Ban style shades. Um, and then swim trunks, of course, <laughs> the water, and then you got to have your sandals. So nice, uh, nice comfy sandals, walk in water, walk around all day in them. So that's my beach outfit. All right. <laughs> all right, Jesse. All right. So, uh, very simple. Just have a colorful shirt. Oh, well, this is not too colorful, but has uh, different patterns for it. Um, and then uh, khaki shorts, barefoot. <laughs> um, yeah, and the they used to go, so, you know, I could feel the wind more. Um, and then kind of, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, usually I go uh, with sandals, uh, sometimes um, shoeless. So just go barefoot and yeah. That's it. Simple. Good job. All right, Eric. All right. So for me, I like to uh, like to wear tanks, you know, when I go out, or or if I or if I walk out to the beach sometimes. Woo! Okay. Somebody took my shirt off. So that's mainly it. I like to keep tanks because um, I have uh, what is it like a bath farmer's tan, so I super need a tan. <laughs> hey. I give you so much props. You took your shirt off. Awesome. All and I'm right. sorry for the chunkiness. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. All right, Ying. How am I going to top that? <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone, you know what's the hardest thing about going last? Because now you got to think of, oh, what do I got to do different from all these guys and stuff like that, right? But, like me, I really enjoy just, like I said, being comfortable. Um, and uh, from time to time, I'll probably take off my shirt. But uh, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> nice. Oh my God, you guys are so good. Um, I'm definitely impressed. Um, so I'm sure the girls let you guys know already that I have to choose a winner. And the winner will get, instead of 10 minutes, 20 minutes with me. And there was some leading men until Eric, you took off your shirt. So yeah, I definitely have to give you that. Yeah. <laughs> you deserve the 10 extra minutes of me for taking off your shirt. So great job guys. And um, thank you guys for participating. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Kind of out of the comfort zone, but um, <clears throat> um, I think that's it. And I hope you guys have fun. And good night, and thank you for a great show. <laughs> for sure. That was fun. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon on our one on ones. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. See you, Chan. Bye. Hey. Hey, Charm. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I was really going to choose you, actually, because I really liked all your outfits, but I already told the girls that whoever took off their shirt. I just, you know, I give them pops for doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Still get 10 minutes, right? Yeah, we still get 10 minutes. So, before that 10 minutes, I just want to pick your brains. What are your thoughts about the surprise? Well, how does that make you feel? And um, then, what are you thinking moving forward now? Um, I mean, like, I feel like. <clears throat> I, I'm not sure like how I kind of wanted to get your guys' intake too, but I, I guess I can share with mine first. Um, it's definitely a surprise. Um, I mean, I have definitely gotten like gained some connections um, with you guys already. So these new guys coming in um, will definitely have to like step it up if they, you know, really want, um, you know, to get where we're at. And um, so I'm just going to be open to it and um, see where it goes. But um, yeah, other than that, it, it it was a 
it, it wasn't like a bad surprise, but I just, I just, um, I don't know. I guess I have, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a pleasant surprise, but at the same time, I just, um, it's definitely a pleasant surprise, but at the same time, it's at, it's also like, um, I, I don't know how you guys feel about it too. Um, and like where we're at to, you know, right now and with the new guys coming in. Yeah. Guess. But how do you feel about the new men coming in? <laughs> you want the honest truth or the bent truth? I want the honest <laughs> truth. <laughs> so I'll just put it this way. Um, surprise is a surprise, right? But yeah. I speak for myself, maybe not for the other guys. I don't know. But I think uh, on my side, it's not a pleasant surprise mm -hmm. only because yeah. And um, for us to get a surprise like that, at least at first blush, you know, I'm like, whoa, what's happening, right? Is yeah. is is all that time and energy and effort that we put at the beginning just is it just in vain, right? Mm -hmm. so maybe that's just that first blush for me. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm confident in myself and and in you and at least what we've talked about in our conversations, right? Um, yeah. It doesn't. Uh, it, it just took me uh, by surprise a little bit. Right, with yeah. What, what's going yeah. on? And um, I, I get what maybe Callie and Olivia is trying to do, but I also think that um, at least you, know, you could fill out the other guys that are still in the show. But it's kind of a punch to the guts, if you ask me. Um, that that's my brutal honest truth, and that's just the kind of person I am. I'm I'm yeah. honest. I'm very straight laced. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, it's it's almost a little unfair to the guys that have been doing yeah. it for the long haul. Yeah, definitely. I completely understand where you're coming from, and I I agree. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I don't think I would be happy with that surprise as well. Yeah. But um, I think, and definitely, you know, you guys have dedicated your time the past month and your efforts and I'll let you know now that that's not going to go to waste. You know, everything that we built to this day, it's it definitely means a lot to me. So yeah. all the effort you've put in, it doesn't, it's not in vain. So yeah. just know that. And I'm glad you're confident in yourself and what we have right now or in me. And you should, um, I'm, I'm glad you're confident in that. And um, like, even though this surprise presented itself, um, I'm just going to be open to it. And like I said, you know, if you get these guys, these new guys definitely have a lot of stepping up to do. And if they don't, then they probably won't be around, you know, because, you know, you guys have half stepped up already. You guys already showed your interest. You guys, you know, show me you guys want to be here. So, yeah. And I, and I think you have every right to be open to it. And um, every right to get to know them as well. So don't uh, let me sway you one way or the other. But obviously, moving forward, I'm still going to do my best uh, mm -hmm. to to be in it and to keep striving forward. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that uh, you're being honest as well and just wanted to really pick your brains on it. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe, maybe the other guys would feel the same. Definitely blew me away a little uh -huh. bit, but... Anyways, we'll scratch that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm so glad you you spoke about that. And like, I definitely wanted to clear that and then uh, get that out of the way too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and thanks for being honest. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> obviously, you know, your charm is going to do charm and we'll just take it from there, right? Uh, how yeah. was your uh, weekend? Uh, my weekend, it was good. Um, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but I did catch up on some few things um other than that just mostly worked yeah what about you? Uh, my weekend was good i actually uh took a small mini vacation with some friends uh, we rented a house out in the countryside oh, oh. yeah so we just we did a little bit of bonfire um hung out told some ghost stories right Ooh. Or just fun. a relaxed weekend getaway uh, but it's always good to you know de-stress every now and then Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. When is your um, trip to Arizona again? So I'm going to Arizona at the end of May. Okay. Um, so Memorial Weekend. That's that's when I'll be. I'm gonna fly to Vegas, then mm -hmm. I'm gonna drive down to Lake Mojave. We'll hang out down there, and um, you're welcome to come join me. 
<laughs> but yeah, that should be fun. We plan to get some jet skis, um, get on the water, and we may even rent a boat, maybe a pontoon or something, and just have some fun. And yeah, <clears throat> that definitely sounds like fun. Um, how long will you be down there for? I'm going to be down there for three days. I'm going to okay. fly down there on Thursday night, and then I'll fly back home on Sunday. Oh, awesome. It's a quick yeah. trip, um, but it should be good. This is the time to travel, right? The yeah. weather is being is a lot more cooperative. Mm -hmm. uh, the days are longer, so you have more time to spend out in the mm -hmm. sun. And so uh, this, I, I like to travel a lot during these times. And then winter time, it's all about winter sports. So yeah, <laughs> dude, you really had me there earlier with your swimwear. I really thought you were going to take off your shirt. <laughs> I would, but um, you know, I was kind of, you know, I, like we talked yeah. about, I was kind of feeling like. The surprise was just yeah. not what I was expecting. So um, no, kind of I, I, I wanna I don't wanna just give away everything. Yeah. I really want to reserve that part for someone who's serious. Yeah, um, I really I like that too. And I like that you were you, you were being um you were reserved you're reserved, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally direct and open, but you know, it's yeah. like you you, you just have play game and then I Yeah. So uh, I, I do want to be sincere and genuine, and um, I expect the same of you as well. So it's just okay. one of those things where I don't, uh, I, I don't want us to just do that just to uh, yeah. uh, appease an audience yeah. or, or make yeah. it super extra fun, right? Because yeah. obviously we can make it extra fun anytime we want. Yeah. But yeah. Um, that, that's one thing I like about you that um, even though like, you know, this is, you know, we do these activities and stuff for fun, you can have fun with it, but at the same time, you know, like in the back of your head, you're you know that you're serious about this and i just want to let you know again that i am serious about this as well and yeah. that i do really have my eye on you still and um yeah i'm excited to see what's in store for us in the future so well that's music to my ears uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are at the 10 minute mark do we get like another two minutes <laughs> <laughs> well it's good seeing you again talking to you Hey, you as well. Before I leave you, though, um, weird question. What is your shoe size? I'm a size six. I wear anything between a five and a half to six and a half, but I think six is the safest one. Okay. Now, yeah. what about heels? Do you like them high or do you like them short? I like them high. <laughs> well, not, not not too high, but decent. Or medium. Medium. Yeah, medium. Okay. Why? I got something brewing up here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, you, you, you may find out very soon. We'll see um, how everything plays out. All right. Sounds good. Um, I'll be looking forward to whatever you have in store. All right. Have a good night, Charm. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Hey, Charm. Good job today. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I think you didn't hear because um, my... Um, mic was off but i was saying i was worried i would be like underdressed there you know i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't oh. have gotten the right theme so no i think you did great i think all of you guys definitely did really great um i just i i just couldn't say no to the one that took off their shirt you know because taking off your shirt in front of thousands of people i i think you <laughs> these are the extra 10 minutes yeah for but, sure that yeah um but yeah um i was hoping you to take off your shirt too i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh i wish i i wish yeah, i still had probably. my beach ball <laughs> no i don't expect that from you guys at all i wouldn't even wear a bikini like right now so mm -hmm. yeah so i will say last week uh you really threw me for a loop um what? with the eliminations i know i'm so sorry <laughs> i was like um you know like you know when i say those names it's not in any order right mm -hmm. but um <laughs> i don't know i guess your card was just over there i just kind of scanned them up like randomly and then your card was the last one it's the one hidden so you couldn't see it on so that's why mm -hmm. i i decided to but it was mm -hmm. i feel so bad did, did you think you were getting eliminated i did just because you know usually the last person yeah. does so yeah. but i'm so sorry but i i hope you're not mad at me for that <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. And I, I, I think it makes for a great um, thing to elimination episode. I didn't watch it, but I'm sure it made for a great like suspense. And then just 
you know, <laughs> to find out I wasn't uh, getting eliminated was probably pretty funny for the uh, fan. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't want you to. When Jesse froze, I was like, "Oh shoot, we're getting stalled." And Travis just here feeling he's like getting eliminated. So I'm just gonna say, "Okay, he he's." I'm just gonna take it as a yes. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Travis, will you accept this card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Um, how do you feel about the one on one coming up? I'm excited. Um, I've got some ideas, so I think yeah. it should be fun. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to finalize it soon. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, me too. You are one of the guys who I've gotten to know the least. <laughs> so I'm definitely looking forward to it and to what you have planned for us. So. Yeah, it should be exciting. So I think yeah. um, I'll probably do something collaborative. So we'll both kind of be hands on and Ooh. we'll be able to kind of talk and do that and then Okay. Talk some more. Sounds like fun. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. There's just like so many things that I do want to ask you, but I, I think I'll just save it for the one on one too. Like some deeper okay. questions. Yeah, definitely some deeper questions. Um, um, I do also want to ask you because you know I know that this is something that you know we can't just ignore about the new men coming in, like. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I think that's a really good plot twist. Um, I'm yeah, I, I'm okay with that. Um, you know, just more uh, people for you to get to know because um, you know this is about your journey as well, right? And so, um, you know, more opportunities for you. But yeah, I think for us, it's uh, it's good. Um, it'll keep us. Uh, it'll keep it interesting for us. Keep us on our toes, and um, it'll keep make the challenges more fun. Because yeah, like before, I thought it would just be us three, but. Um, you know, having the five of us, I think, made it more fun, and uh, we were able to um, kind of show ourselves. And um, I think you saw more people. So, no, oh, all right. Well, I'm, it's good to know you're open to it. Are, are you sure that's the honest truth, or are you just saying that? <laughs> yeah, no, that that's not the truth. You know, uh, competition. Okay. You know, um, competition is always good. Um, keeps, yeah. You know, keeps me on my toes, and um, I think for others as well. So we welcome that, and um, I think, I, yeah, again, it's just about you as well. So. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, but just know that I, I do like um, definitely take how you guys feel and your feelings into consideration too. Because um, you know, I, I don't think everyone's gonna be happy about this. You know, um, some men probably feel like you know all the effort they put in. You know, um, and then these new guys coming on board, mm -hmm. um, and then I'm sure other guys are more open to it. Um, but yeah, thanks for your letting me know how you feel about it. Yeah, and I definitely feel, um, you know, if you feel a connection with me, um, if I feel a connection with you, I think that's going to win out the end, right? No matter yeah. what. Yeah. Um, if if that's how it's going to play out, then, you know, right. I think it will. So no matter yeah. who, who comes on or who leaves. So yeah. yeah, that's true. Because even in real life, right? Like you meet new people here and there all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if what you have is strong, then just be confident in that, right? And mm -hmm. not worry about the others. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let me ask you. So, ask me what are the questions you want to ask me next week? Okay. Next week? I mean, yeah, yeah. Ask ask me one of the questions that um you want to ask me, but that you you're thinking of saving for next week. And maybe like maybe one of your like not as like high priority questions. We'll save those for next week. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because yeah, I I know um I haven't really had um the longer one on ones, and yeah, you've probably wow. gotten to know me the least so. Yeah, what's one burning question you have for me at, at this time? Okay, so I, I know that you said that your last relationship was in high school, right? Oh, yeah. And it's been a while. So like from high school to now, like, you know, have you like had any relationships or have you just had no time for relationships mm -hmm. or like even if it's just talking or getting to know somebody, like has it really been since high school? You know, I'm just like kind of curious about, you know, just that, I guess, one of the questions. Yeah, so I've had my opportunities over the years. Um, mm -hmm. I think that, I think kind of um, in my intro, and kind of maybe I've talked to you about this, but it just felt like things, it was never the right time, um, mm -hmm. just because I was in transition periods of my life. So, you know, after college, um, I got a job, you know, working uh in an office, right? But I was also planning, okay, I got to go back to grad school. Um, I'm going to go to law school. And so I was at a point where, okay, you know, I, I met somebody, but it's also like, I have these things I still want to do. And, 
you know, knowing myself, um, I might not do my best if, uh, you know, I'm not fully committed to, um, you know, yeah. particularly school. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like that came up a few times throughout the years, um, whether that was, you know, I was working and then I went back to school and, then, you know, I'd meet people along the way, but it just never felt like the right time, I guess. And yeah. so for me now, um, you know, I'm pretty much done with what I want to do and I'm just working now, right? And kind of in my yeah. career. And so um, I'm ready for, I'm ready th for that commitment now. Maybe, maybe that's the way to put it. Maybe I was here commitment back then, but so that's kind of where I'm at. Cool. And um, that's good to know. And I think another question is just um, like if we, you know, you're like one of, let's say you're one of the top fives and we get to meet in person, right? You get to come visit me, Merced. Um, how would you feel about that? That'd be exciting. Exciting. Um, never been to the West Coast, so I'd love to see that yeah. with you. Um, you know, maybe we could go go somewhere else, you know, somewhere along yeah. the West Coast. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's exciting. I, I'm definitely looking forward. Um, if I'm towards, the, you know, one of the top contestants uh, yeah. coming out there and meeting you and uh, spending time with you in your real life. So, yeah, because I think virtually it's completely different from in person, right? So, mm -hmm. I'm glad you feel that way. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. Yeah, okay. absolutely. <laughs> All right, so we're at 10 minutes. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to our 101 next week. Okay. And thank you so much for participating today. Just hope you know you did so great and you really impressed me. But yeah, other than that, have a great night, Travis. For I'll sure. see you. Okay. Bye. All right. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good. How are you? Thank good. Could be better. Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> My allergies are kicking in right now. Oh, yeah, I get allergies sometimes, too. I used to never oh, yeah. have allergies, and then I think within the past few years, I just started getting aller allergies. I'm like, is it age oh, or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's not fun. Have you always had allergies? Um, I don't recall. I don't recall when I was a kid, <clears throat> but I know for like the past decade, yes. Oh. And then it's not fun. Oh, yeah, I'll bet not. <laughs> yeah so how are you doing i'm doing good um busy 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 but yeah. good yeah okay. yeah i uh i had like one day to shoot the uh challenge video and i can't wait for you to see that <laughs> i totally forgot to ask the other guys about it but i'm glad you brought that up mine <laughs> mine is Mine is, uh, I'll just surprise you. It's, do you think, uh, um, I'm not satisfied? Um, you know what? Yeah. It's okay because you, you put the time and effort, and I think I'll just enjoy it no matter what. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully you like it. It's to me, I think it's really funny. Can, can you at least tell me one thing? what about the video? Yeah, can you tell me one thing? Um, can you tell me which one you did or no? Do you want me? Oh, I cannot tell you. Dang it. <laughs> that, that, that is a surprise. Which one do you think I picked? I think you picked the Titanic one. Titanic? Oh, why? Why? Wait, why? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I just can't see you acting angry. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. At least yeah, I, it's, yeah, it's pretty hard for me to be angry, so. Yeah. That's a surprise. I can't tell you. Because if I told you, I would. No, yeah, I cannot. But okay. yeah, I I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> I wow. messed up, mm -hmm. but I'm making it up somehow. So. Oh, so you messed up the video that you submitted? <laughs> yeah, I messed up. Big yeah, time. You have to tomorrow to fix it. <laughs> well, I cannot because I the whole shoot was in Sacramento. Oh. Wow. And so I only had one day uh, mm -hmm. because my friend wasn't free Saturday. So Sunday was the only day. And I thought it would be very easy, but no, <laughs> it was way harder than I thought. Wow. So. so you drove all the way yeah. to Sacramento and you had to get your friend and everything just to yeah, take them. Just to help me uh, out. Yeah. There's no way that so, already. There's already a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dirt, if she is watching, yeah, she's amazing. She helped oh, yeah. me out a lot. So without her, I wouldn't be able to finish it. They're from yeah. Sac Sacramento, right? Yeah, from Sacramento, oh. yeah. Is she a friend or 
cousin. Yeah, she, yeah, we went to uh, high school together. So mm -hmm. uh, she's a dancer. Yeah, she's oh. a dancer as well. She's very into the arts. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we grew up dancing together and yeah, we just stayed friends, stay connected ever since. Yeah, so she's helped me out a lot and I really appreciate it. So if she is watching, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. She says, that you should, she says that you should just go out with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, if we get to meet in person. <clears throat> if, uh, if, okay. <laughs> I have to say if. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah yeah so how long oh my god i just can't wait to see the video is how long mine is very long so yeah good gives I, me you know me, I, gives I, always me make it <laughs> <laughs> I always make mine really long so. <laughs> and there are some things i hope you get it i don't know if you'll get it uh -huh. so there's some things that i that i hope you get and if you okay. don't get it, you can ask me or hopefully the audience will get it. Yeah, I'll try to yeah. look out for, is it clues to something? Because like, usually no. I'll look like that, no? Okay. Yeah, no, no clues, just, it's just, it's just funny. Um, <laughs> um, oh, and uh, one last thing I wanted to address really mm -hmm. quick. Um, how do you feel about the new contestants? How are you feeling about that? Um, yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, you know, I don't know what the year, now, for me, it just all depends on their purpose, right? The mm -hmm. purpose of the show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, it just really depends on the purpose of the show. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, they didn't go over it with you. <laughs> so oh, it's kind of surprise. <laughs> yeah, so it's a surprise for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a surprise for us. And then uh, I honestly think it's yeah. okay. I, I feel like some of the other guys may think that, oh, you know, that's not fair because, you know, we put so much time into it. Yeah. And I believe my honest opinion is that you should have a say in it because it's, uh, you know, the show is geared towards you, right? And I know that some of the guys left, which kind of sucks and uh, poor sportsmanship in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But that's just them being honest. And yeah. I totally understand that. But this is for you. So I feel like you have, you should have the choice to, to add or not. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm okay. Like I said, you know, it's just... This is for you. So, you know, if it opens any other doors for you, that's great. As long as you're happy, that's the most important thing that uh, I can think of. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that and your honesty. Yeah. But, um, okay, so our time is up. So. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but, okay, so, so, so let me just finish that statement uh, a little bit more. I know we're going over time, but. Oh, uh-huh. But, you know, like I said before, you know, this, it's all about you so just choose uh with your heart content i don't see it as a competition um uh, this is more of you so yeah you say that so it makes me feel like you're like okay you know because i do want a guy who tells me that like i do want a guy who like i feel like mm -hmm. does want me too so you're just like mm -hmm. uh, if you oh, no 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 me, so, I'm oh, no don't get no, wait, wait 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 <laughs> No, don't get that wrong. Mm -hmm. Like for me, when I talk to my friends, I'm like, I'm gonna ask Charm out like right now. So Charm, <laughs> will you go out with me? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but but I really do. Uh, I really do want to build something with you. Mm -hmm. If you feel the same, only if you feel the same, right? Yeah. Uh, and but then at the same time, it's it's really your your decision. Mm -hmm. I can do as much as I want, but it really is your decision, right? Because I can give you a million dollars, I can buy you a house, I can dance for you, I can do anything, but really at the end, it's it's you. So, uh, but just know that I'm really interested in you. I, I like you a lot and yeah, we'll see. We'll see where, where this goes. I mean, yeah. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah. All right, well, huh? No, what? Oh my God. <laughs> Well, it's good to know. Um, but I hope you have a good night, Jesse. <laughs> you too. I can't wait to see your video. Oh, and... I have to finish it. <laughs> so one is. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah. Hmm? It'll be a surprise. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night, Charm. Smile. Hi, Ying. Hey, how's it going, Charm? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. 
Yeah. How are you so feeling? Nice. Huh? <laughs> what? Go on. Oh, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. Yeah. I'm excited because I get to finally talk to you. Aw. <laughs> um, so I noticed that you're at the re a restaurant. Yeah. Is that I, like um, Huh? Is that like family owned or? Yeah. Um, I'm just borrowing it for the night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And so customers oh. kept walking by and so I had to close the window blinds. <laughs> yeah. They're probably like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. So just working my late shift like how I normally do anyways. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. Yeah. And so um you so you're in Merced. I've been in Merced a few times. I can't oh. I, I just can't think of why I've never seen you before, met you before. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't really go out too much. I mean, okay. I do. Play. I don't know. <laughs> I see. I don't know. <laughs> I like uh, actually, dishes is one of my least favorite chores. <laughs> oh, really? Dang. I love washing dishes with a hottie. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about you. I don't think I know anything about you. Um, I'll keep it short, simple, and brief. Um, my background is actually very, 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 very extensive. Um, I grew up in Madison, Wisconsin. I went to uh, college out here. I actually graduated with my PhD. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, with my public high school diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so I pursued my passion in photography up in Minnesota. I told my parents that that was the only place where I can get my uh, degree. And that's mm -hmm. the only place that actually provided that degree. Um, but the reality was I just wanted to get away, party, and have a great time. And that's what I did for many, many years. Um, and, you know, I, I did that, became a professional photographer for a while and discovered I had to take a lot of free photos and do a lot of photo shoots for people to get to uh, a position where I can be full-time and take care of myself financially. So ventured off doing other things in life and uh, started traveling, exploring, meeting a lot of people. And uh, that's just kind of like how my life is. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so yeah. you're, you're a professional photographer? Uh, I used to be. Oh, you used to be. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah. yeah. I like a little bit of photography myself. Um, what kind of places have you traveled to? Um, I don't know. I haven't gone to too many places. I've gone to um, maybe like 30, 40, 30, at least 30 different states out in the United States. Um, uh, I've only tried, I haven't traveled international. So I'm looking for someone who has their citizenship. <laughs> um, but farthest out is Hawaii. Yeah, but I do plan on doing a lot more going on to the future now that I have, you no, know, uh, now in the future when I start having a lot more free time, mm -hmm. I plan on making travel videos and stuff like that. Awesome, like kind of like yeah. vlogging, right? Um, yeah, kind of like that, but just, I don't know. I, I, it's hard to really figure out what your style is until you go out there and do it, right? Like I used mm -hmm. to do like everything, like family mm -hmm. portrait. I would do like, um, uh, I used to shoot photos at the clubs. I used to do oh. everything, and I discovered yeah. that there were some things I didn't really enjoy. Yeah, uh, which is like portrait photography, like family. Oh. It's just so complicated. Um, <laughs> so I guess I'll find my niche as I travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Huh. And so I don't know. I think photography is a great way to share with the rest of the world your views and maybe the way you feel about things. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and so I'm sure you feel the same way about it too. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Kind of sharing with the world your views of um, your views, I guess, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you're looking for in a partner. And you know, I'm looking. Yeah. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm looking for the person who's looking for me. <laughs> What if they don't know that they're looking for you? People will, well, okay, so my personal, it's, it's kind of like this. Have you ever had a conversation, a deep, meaningful conversation with someone? Mm -hmm. And you go, wow, there's something different about this person, right? Yeah. Like, it's how they make me feel. It's what they mm -hmm. say, how they do things. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and it's so hard to find people like that. I tell people all the time, 
the biggest problem and challenge we have today in our community or in our society is that most people communicate, only few connect. Yeah. And that's why it's so hard to find people that we want to be around with and be and spend our life with. Yeah. And so I just feel like, look, if you meet, like for me, I'm looking for someone who understands me, um, that if I make a decision, she understands my decisions. Mm -hmm. And I don't, look, here's the truth, baby. Like, it's like this, okay? It's the women's dream to dream, but it's, it's the women's job to dream it, mm -hmm. and the man's job is to finance it. And that's how <laughs> I feel about it, right? And, and so like it's like, that. it's, I wanna just like, I guess the way I say it is, is make sure I'm up to par with that with her, mm -hmm. and then she just understands me, right? Like yeah. you know, you know, jacutito, the chena, and then you know, like like they're visiting me, they're my friends, my guests. Mm -hmm. Like I should be able to turn to my wife and say, "Kania," you know, and wink at her, and she goes and gets water, right? I don't need someone who you know, olunje moduti, walk away, kick and kick, is kicking and screaming. Yeah. Because that's so important, you know. That's the last thing I want is someone who uh, doesn't really agree with you, you know. Because if your girlfriends came over, your I I'd be like, honey, do what you got to do. Yeah, I got you right. Uh, and yeah. it's, it's a, I feel like that's the most important thing in a relationship is really having each other's back and fully understanding each other's situation. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. What about you? What are you looking for? I know you're not looking for me. <laughs> you know, honestly, like. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know what I'm like. I mean, I, 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 there's just so many things I'm looking for, but I think I, what I'm just looking for is just that connection. Like you said before, that deeper connection, I'm just looking for someone who I feel like, who I know I can trust, who, um, that, you know, we just connect on a different level and who truly sees me for me and like, really like, likes me and loves me for who I am. And right not just what's on the outside, but on the inside, you know, and um, just someone who's respectful too. And um, yeah, I think just trust, love and support. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so uh, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's, I know we don't have a lot of time, but mm -hmm. I, I guess the best way to say it is, um, you can never tell what's, I mean, it's hard to pick and choose who's going to be the right person for you. And I think whenever we meet that person, we just know that yeah. they're different. Yeah. And you will, instead of like just praying on it, you go for it. Instead of having, um, you know, focusing on the doubts, you focus on the possibilities. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure like in your videos in the past, you said that you were in love once mm -hmm. and maybe you want it and, and you're hoping you can find love again. And yeah. even for me, uh, years ago when I was younger, my first love, I thought that was it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as time goes by, when you reflect back on your life, you start realizing that that person, they were only good for you for a certain, like in a certain area. Yeah. Right. Uh, but maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Because they had, there, there was something that maybe they had a different belief structure. Yeah. You know? And it affects so much of you because you want to build a long-term lasting relationship that's meaningful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and Sorry, it's like I'm giving you a presentation over here or something. No, it's good. It's good to see how you feel, what you think and everything. So thanks for sharing that with me. And I, I think also just, you know, virtually and meeting in person is different, so. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. Definitely different in person, so. Yeah, I mean, if you saw me in person, it's like I'm walking on water and glowing in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so funny. But I also want to tell you that um, you did so Time's great. Up. I know. Time's up, but you did so good today in tonight's fashion show. Um, thanks for participating. You were really oh, great. Yeah, no yeah. I, um, I was just, I, I just lost my train of thought. And I was just thinking, <laughs> oh, Lord. No, I think that happens but, to all of us. <laughs> yeah, well, it happened because because I was talking to Olivia and then they're like, you know, there's actually people who lose, like they, they freak out because you're yeah. so pretty, right? When they first talk to you and I'm just sitting here uh -huh. and I don't know, that train of thought just like ran across my head and I'm just like, oh Lord, <laughs> but it's all good. I, I'm not worried about it because I have nothing to hide. It's just who I am. People make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, nobody's and, perfect. Um, 
and plus the point is and it's pretty simple for me i don't have to try to be someone i'm not yeah. especially on this show yeah well yeah. there's some things i don't have to tell you <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's put it that way so technically i'm not lying until i tell you okay <laughs> yeah and so but uh, did you have a good time yeah i have it was so fun watching you guys. Okay, great job tonight. And um, I look forward to getting to know you more, Ying. And I'm excited that you're on this journey. And I hope you look forward to getting to know me more too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you have a good night. It was a pleasure putting your name with the face. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night, Ying. Bye-bye. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Good. Did you uh, enjoy the surprise? Yeah. I was just like, oh, my God. Um, that was a really crazy surprise. <laughs> That's good yeah. That's how did you feel coming in? Did you feel like, yeah, how did you feel coming in? Well, ner uh, really, really nervous. And yeah. I was, I was like, dang, she's right there. What am I going to say? I don't know what to say. But, you know, it was fun, though. <laughs> nice to meet you and everything, you know, and the other guys, too. I mean, so. Do, how what kind of vibes were you getting from the other men do you feel like um they're pretty chill you know i mean i mean i don't know what they said to you but i mean they seem like it was you know it's a group of good group of guys and i think we're gonna have fun but yeah. you know we're gonna win so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah great job today oh my god like when you took off your shirt i didn't think anyone was gonna take off their shirt so props to you <laughs> <laughs> i was like hey i'm in this show I got, I'm here, like I said, like, I'm not here to participate, I'm here to win. So I'm like, if I gotta take off my shirt to win, I gotta take off my shirt to win. <laughs> <laughs> You're really in it to win it. I'm like, yeah, oh. for sure, for sure. I mean, to win you, of course, come on now. So um, <laughs> I'm from Minnesota. Uh -huh. So I really grew up in California, but I moved to Minnesota here um, with my parents since I was like 10. So I live up here this, pretty much my entire life. And let's see here, I play a lot of sports. Like I play like pretty much any sport. I, I'm I, I just love playing sports. I play flag football a lot, so I play football mm -hmm. with that. And uh, I run a little car group too, or a brand that we started. Me and one of my friends. A car. And, group? Yeah, so like it's like um, so we started a brand, but it's kind of uh -huh. like on cars. So we host like shows and stuff like that, like uh, oh, every wow. month. so or, or try to host shows every month. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome to come. <laughs> All the way in Minnesota. <laughs> it's okay. I could uh, what is it? I could Facetime you or something. You know, it'll, it'll be like just like there. Okay. I'd be like, hey, everybody, check it. You know, so. I don't think we can Facetime off of this. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, how tall are you? You look pretty tall. So I'm uh, five eleven. So. Okay. That's what are you? I'm about two inches from a foot shorter than you. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me about yourself. Um, I'm only 5'1". You got that, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. Oh, I got nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing oh, wrong with that. I'm too short. <laughs> I'm oh, hey, hey, short girl need love, too. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the other question you asked me? Oh, I said, um, so tell me a little about yourself. So I've been in Merced basically all my life. Mm -hmm. I did move to the Midwest for one year, but I just wasn't feeling it. Mm -hmm. The weather, just the environment. Uh, and I miss my Cali peeps and the weather. So, <laughs> uh, Other than that, I love playing sports too, but I just don't okay. have anyone to play sports with really, so I don't play sports anymore. Okay. Um, I enjoy going out to the city and nature too. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I enjoy photography sometimes, and I enjoy gaming. So, do you oh, game? Though? Yeah, I game a little bit um, uh, with uh, some guys on uh, like uh, you know on, on my computer and stuff. We play like uh, Tarkov and stuff like that. I try to play uh, Call of Duty Warzone, but man, it's hard, huh? I'd be dying like that. I feel like <laughs> where coming from. So, what are you looking for anyway? In a partner? In a partner? Um, you know, I guess for me personally, it's just. Um, someone who just kind of you know accepts me for being me and i'll accept them for being them you know and then like uh me personally you know like if 
like you know if i do end up being with you you know i'm with you like it doesn't matter who comes in the way you know like once i'm with you i'm just with you you know and like you know like the trust and everything will be there like yeah. i'm not gonna do anything you know i mean if you're yeah. if i belong to you i belong to you so that's how good. about you yeah i think i definitely want a relationship where like you have my trust like 100%, I have your trust 100%. Like I'm confident in me, I'm confident in you, I'm confident in us. And if there isn't that confidence, then there isn't really a relationship, I feel like, you know? Like, um, so yeah, I'm with you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, there's no confidence, there's no trust. I mean, yeah. that's not a relationship anymore, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't start a relationship with a guy like that I know just, I just can't trust, you know? Cause there are men out there that you just, can't trust because you know how they are, right? But I think there are men that, you know, you guys can build something and you just trust them 100%, so. Oh yeah, and then for me, you know, like, you know, I'm like, I mean, I'm playing this game, but I mean, realistically, I'm not playing games, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, when I'm there, I'm just, you know, when I, if I'm with you, I'm with you. And, I, you know, I'm not afraid. I'll be like, hey, dude, like, hey, that's my girl. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, yep, I'm with her. Yeah, you better watch out my bodyguards back here, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny well, that's good to know um so when was your last relationship uh my last relationship was probably like four or five months ago now oh okay how long was how long did it last for it was a long time uh we dated for like uh five six years we were engaged <gasps> but, wow. yeah but I ended up not turning right you know so it's you know it is what it is you know and for me it's it's not about the it's, I guess to me, it's like, you know, all the small things you do um, to gain someone's trust and, you know, that they used to enjoy when they start picking all the small, all small bad things and making it like a worse thing than it actually is. That's when it's, you know, the relationship's not going to be going good. So, yeah. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out, but. Hey, it's okay. You know, like, how about you? When's the last time you did, had a relationship? Um, It's been over a year. Okay. Uh, I think I just wanted something different. Um, that's it. I mean, it's not that I wanted something different. It's just, I, I guess like, you know, I, I think you really get to know somebody after a couple of years, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I think three years, I would say three years is when you really get to know somebody like from like completely inside out, like, you know, uh, what you can tolerate, what you can't tolerate, I guess, I don't know. Um, but um, I, I guess it just, he just wasn't the one for me, I think at the end, yeah. Yeah, I hear you because, um, you know, I tell people all the time, like, you know, it's not the first year. I mean, the first year, it's all about, you know, the butterflies and the stuff yeah. like that. It's, it's always like the second, third year, you know, yeah. when you find the real them, you know, so. Yeah. But hey, it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. We've moved on to bigger, better things now. You're here, I'm here, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here together and see what life has in store for us, I guess. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so uh, you like hiking too, you said, right? Um, I enjoy hiking. Do you? you? Yeah. 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 So it's uh, it's one of the hobbies I kind of want to um, start doing is hiking. I told my friends, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a solo hike. If no one wants to go, I'll just go by myself. And they're like, sending me all these like, this guy went missing. Haven't found him yet. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I won't go by myself. Like, yeah, go with somebody. So maybe we can enjoy some things, you know. So wait, so you never really hiked before, or? So I did some small hiking, you uh -huh. know, like small trails, but I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go like out there, you know, like really out there, like hike for like, I don't know, five miles or something like that, you know? Oh, wow, yeah. I wouldn't have the balls to go by myself, but <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy going hiking with at least one person, one other person. <laughs> what's, what's your mom name? Um, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I think you're the one who's Mm. Oh, oh, okay. I, I told my dad, I was like, you should never name me that. He's like, well, well, that's what we're getting replacing. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad, what's wrong with that? You know, like walking around with him, you know, so. Oh, that's so funny. So, okay, and yeah, and then your brother's cool. Yeah. Money and, and gold. Oh, dang. Noah's brother, he's a uh, but he, he's actually a really good kid, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how many siblings do you have? Um, So I have three siblings. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, so I'm the oldest. 
Uh-huh. So, I, so it's me, my brother, who's a year younger than me, and then my sister, who's a little bit like two years younger than him, than my littlest brother, who's like 25 right now. So, oh, okay. What's so how old are you? I'm 33. Oh, 33. When do you, are you, do you turn 34 this year or you just turned 33 this year? I'm turning 34 this year. What month? November. Okay, you're three months younger than me. <laughs> yes. What? I said that's okay. <laughs> so you're turning are you turning 34 this this year too then? Yeah, in August. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, 34 already. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, you're 34, <laughs> but you look like 25. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> or what's actually your favorite sport? My favorite sport would probably be uh, football. Yeah, you look like a football guy. Do I? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, so I play I, I play like the Hmong Flat Football League, you know? Oh, okay. Um, so I play that, and then, uh, yeah, I just enjoy watching football and stuff like that. How, what yeah. about you, your sport? I think the only sports I've really ever played was volleyball and basketball. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait, so you play in the tournament too, right? Like during J4 and stuff? Well, what's your team? Or do you still have a team? Or not anymore? Oh my gosh, I played on like so many teams. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I just like this. So I play on this new team now that's called uh, Guerrilla Warfare. So it's a new mm-hmm. team. Um, actually, they played it last year, but they switched their name. But um, yeah, I'm playing with them right now. And I'm learning, you know, I mean, every team's a little different. Yeah. So they a new team. And it's, it's, it's fun, fun playing with them because they're younger, you know. Yeah. But I did get my lip busted, which, yeah. So I don't know if you can see it's like this. Oh, okay. Now that you're closer. Yeah, I got my lip busted, got elbowed, and like, Ooh. I got. I was like, is it bad? And like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, my lip is stuck in my teeth. That's not good. Wait, is this flag football or real? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Was like, and the work, work of it was um when I was playing, it was like you know at practice, so we're just playing. Oh, and I, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. And I was like, oh, it's not good. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's it's a sport, you know. And I look like Kim Kardashian for like, I don't know, a week. <laughs> I couldn't really talk, you know. And then like my job, I have to talk a lot. So it was really hard for me. Uh-huh. But you know, it, yeah, it turned out fine. My lip looks okay. And I look not as good, but at least close <laughs> enough. Before, so. Like half of your face. <laughs> I was like, you should see me. I was like, hi, guys. Was it that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but we are at the time. Okay. Yeah. So it was good meeting you. I'm glad you joined this journey with me. I look forward to getting to know you. Oh, for sure. It was. I thank you for choosing me, and I hope I tried hard enough and won. So thank you. Yeah, you did. Good job. <laughs> um, but have a good night, and I will see you again, I believe, soon. For sure. Maybe yeah. The next week or two. Yeah, so for sure. It's gonna be a process, but yeah. It's a process I'm willing to, you know, endure for you. So. <laughs> All right. Good night, Eric. Yeah, you have a good one.